Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to 3D print an object from start to finish. So jumping right into the video, the first thing you guys need to know about 3D printing is the 3D printing process. So I showed this slide in an another one of my videos, the ultimate beginner's guide to 3D printing, and this shows the main steps in the 3D printing process. So of course the first step in 3D printing an object is your idea or what you want to print. So there's two ways to get an object to print. The first one is to find it online at a website, either Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. Those are the two most popular ones. Or you can make it yourself by CAD modeling your object. So there are many different CAD programs that you can use to make an object. Some of the ones that I like are Tinkercad, Fusion 360, and SketchUp, but there are much, much more that work also. So once you have your 3D model or your object, you wanna get that file in a .stl format, and that's what most printers use to print an object. So once you have that STL file, you wanna download a slicer software. So again, there are many different slicer softwares, but the ones that are most popular and that I like are Cura and Simplify 3D. Cura is free, Sim Simplify 3D is a more advanced program, but it does cost money. So once you download your slicer software, you're gonna import your STL file into the slicer software. So once your model is in the slicer software, you're going to add your printer settings to the software. So you will add your nozzle size, your bed dimensions, the temperature of your filament, how fast you wanna print, support, infill, things like that. If you wanna learn more about slicing, I'll link a video below. Once you have your sliced object, you're gonna export that or save it as a .g code file for most printers or a .makerbot file or what your printer uses. And you're gonna save that to an SD card or USB drive, whatever your printer uses, or if you want, you can print through USB connected directly to your computer. So once you have that .g code file or .makeabout file on your SD card, you're gonna bring it to your printer. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to replace the adhesion material on your bed. So some printers use glass beds, some printers use painter's tape beds. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the optimal surface to print your object on. Next, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your bed and nozzle. So go in, into the settings and preheat, and preheat it to the exact temperature that you have in your slicer. So once that's done, make sure your printer is calibrated. You don't have to do this every single time, but it helps to get a consistent and nice, perfect prints. To calibrate your printer, I also made a video on this, which I'll link below. On every printer, it's different. Some have auto calibration, but on my printer, I move the, the nozzle to every corner of the bed and calibrate each corner until the nozzle is, is the right distance from the bed. So after that, you're gonna to want to load your filament into the printer. So you put your spool on a spool holder or, or whatever you have to hold your filament up, feed it into your extruder, make sure some plastic is oozing out, make sure that it's primed and ready to print. So once all that's done, you're ready to print your object. So navigate through your printer's menu and select the object you want to print. So once it starts printing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the first few layers are perfect. Once those are correct, you're pretty much good to go, but you might wanna check it every once in a while and make sure it's working out fine. So once the object is finished printing, you're gonna to wanna to take the filament out of the printer and store it in a plastic bag so oxygen doesn't get to it and make your filament brittle and it'll last longer as well. To get your object off the bed, you're gonna to wanna to use a paint scraper or some sort of prying tool to stick under the print and pry it off the bed. So once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to cool down your printer and shut it off, make sure everything's nice and cool. And you have your final object printed out. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a thumbs up on this video. It helped me out a lot. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Comment down below. I will answer every single question. And I'll see you guys in the next video.